Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence UDo tutorial series. Um, in this series, we're going to look at some of the cool things you can do with the UDo board. And this is the quad core. Um, you can see it's powering the whole Linux desktop. It's in the monitor behind here. I've got it zoomed in so you can't see the whole desktop, um, but it should provide a little better experience for this video. Um, so basically, we're going to look at lighting up the LED from the Arduino side and then accessing that pin from the uh, MX6 side. So I've just got an LED uh, plugged in right here. Um, I've actually got it plugged into pin 13. There's a tutorial on pretty much the same thing on the YouTube website already. They use pin 11. Uh, I'll explain why I'm using pin 13 a little later. But let's take a look here. So I've got a sketch here. I've already installed the Arduino IDE. Um, you can find all those directions right on the UDo website. Um, it's really cool because it's all running right on the same hardware. So I can actually build out my sketches, push them to the Arduino side, and power it all from this board. Um, there's no desktop or anything that's powering any of this. So this sketch is really simple. We just have a, a variable called LED set to pin 11. Um, in our setup here, we put the pin mode of that pin into output, and then our loop, we write, uh, we do digital write of high, delay one second, digital write of low, delay a second, and then loop. So let's go ahead and uh, upload this sketch. All right, I cut out the upload time because it takes a little while, uh, but it's actually pushing the sketch now. And so now you can see the LED is turning on and off at a one second interval. So now, um, just to show you guys, I'm gonna reduce this down to a delay of 100 instead of 1000. Uh, and this will increase the speed of the flash by a factor of 10. Um, and again, I'll cut out the upload time here. Okay, so now the sketch is being pushed. The LED solid. and now it's fully loaded you can see the flashing time increase there quite a bit um, so it's pretty neat we've got the fully functioning IDE on the same board as the Arduino hardware um, so I'm just gonna pop this back out to a delay of 1000 and we'll look at how to access it from the Linux side uh, again I'm gonna cut out this load time here okay so that's loading in while that's loading in uh, we'll flip over to Chrome here. So on the uh, udo.org slash downloads page, um, we're going to look at this udo starting manual, and you're going to need this. It's really going to explain a lot of this stuff um, fairly decently. So let's take a look at the manual here. Um, this is page 29. I'm zoomed way in so you can see it. Basically, this blue box here is the SAM uh, processor. We've got all of our I.O. pins here and this is the MX6 side and we're on PWM 11 on the uh, uh, SAM side there and so if you follow that over that goes to GPIO 9 on the MX6 side so if we pull up a terminal now um, let me minimize this so we got a little clearer view here so if we go into slash sys slash class slash GPIO and do an LS on there. Um, you can see all these different GPIO ports uh, that are available to you from the Linux side. So once again, we're on pin 11, that's GPIO 9. Um, so we're going to CD into the GPIO 9 directory. Um, and you can see there's this value. So if we cat value, you can see it's a 1. Uh, and if we do it again, you can see 0, 1, 0, um, and so forth. So we can actually cat the value um, of where the LED is at from the MX6 side. So basically, um, if we look at this and we cat the direction on GPIO 9, uh, it's in. So back in our sketch over here, um, we've set pin 11 to output from the Arduino side we have it set to input on the MX6 side and so we can have Arduino driving different values and writing to that pin and then we can read them from Linux on the MX6 side um, so if you've worked with Arduino before you can kinda of see the power behind this we can actually create 
uh, a bi-directional <coughs> communications line by setting pins on input on one processor, output on the other processor, and transfer data back and forth, uh, really allowing the Arduino hardware to utilize the gig of RAM and the quad-core processor on the Linux side to kind of offshore some of that processing. Um, so now let's take a look at a different sketch we've got here. So this one uses the same LED 11, but we've got a brightness and a fade amount. Um, and basically it's just going to do an analog write, and it's going to go from 0 to 255 uh, in increments of 5, and then go backwards, um, and then delay 30 seconds. Okay, so while that sketch is being loaded in, I'll show you guys why I went with PWM 11 instead of the 13 that they use uh, in the tutorial. So the reason I went with 11 is because over here on the MX6 side, we can actually pull this pin into uh, PWM mode and actually read the PWM values, whereas uh, PWM 13 doesn't have uh, a PWM equivalent on the MX6 side. Um, so I haven't gotten that far yet, and that'll be for another tutorial, but now you can see that this LED is fading in and out um, using pulse width modulation controlled by the Arduino. So stay tuned, there's plenty more UDU tutorials coming. Thanks for watching.